How's it everyone? This is Dog Kahol. In today's video, we're going to be going over a bunch of tips for the trade site that you might not know. I've decided to, instead of doing one super long video as the second part where I do trade tricks and crafting tricks, this is just going to be the trade site tricks. Also some just trade things to be able to get people to respond to your trades better. If you're super experienced, you'll probably know quite a few of these, but dog, you're getting in the way. If you are not experienced, I promise all of these tips are going to be very helpful. Have a wonderful day. I'll catch you on the next video tomorrow. Wait, it's not going to be tomorrow. Ew, dog butt. Let's hop over to the trade site. There's actually a lot of cool little tricks that you can do here to make your trade experience less awful. First one and most important is using the tilde button. This is when you push shift and then that little button next to your one button on your keyboard, it'll do this little squiggly line that will put the search into fuzzy mode, which means you don't need to be as specific when naming modifiers and items when searching for them. If you don't have this on, let's say, for example, I'm looking for a modifier like increase elemental damage with attack seals. If you cannot remember all of that, if you type in, let's say, elemental weapon, it's, uh, it's not going to bring it up. But if you type this tilde and then you go Ellie attack skill, then it'll bring it up. You can also use this if you do know the name of the mod, but you just are a bit lazy like I just did. You can go like Ellie attack skill like that and it should bring it up. Another very useful thing is that you can group by seller. This means that you can buy multiple different items from the same person with a single trade. So let's say I want to do my Uber at Ziri. I need all four fragments. So what you might be inclined to do is head over to fragments and then you're going to click one of these and then click Chaos Orb and then search one by one by one. Instead, what you can do is click all four and then let's say search by Divine Orb and Chaos Orbs. It'll bring up listings for both. And then what you want to do, group by seller down at the bottom here, group by seller. Yes. Let's say you want to run 50 Uber at series in a row. You can also adjust stock count. So this will only show listings with people, let's say, who have 10 full sets. So you can go search and then it'll bring up. Now, if I want to buy a full set from, let's say, this person, I can contact and then move these sliders. I want five of these and four of these and five of these and seven of these. You click the direct whisper and it'll send a message to them saying, I want to buy this, 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 this and this from you for this amount. You can also mix it up with different things. Like, let's say I want to get Timeless Karui Emblem and Immortal Grief. You can do it like that, but generally best to buy sets or let's say groups of scarabs. You want to run a strategy that you saw someone do and you need this scarab, this scarab and this scarab and this scarab and this scarab. Well, then you would click see who has 10 of these and you can buy them all like this. Something else very useful, especially when you're trying to buy a low value item or a low value unique quite late into a league. Let's say I want a Karui ward for my new character that I'm going to level. I'm going to hit search and you will see these will be many, many people who have listed these 18 days ago, four days ago, six days ago, nine days ago. These people, if you message them, they will never, ever, ever respond to you. However, what you can do instead is go listed and then any time and change this to I usually do, let's say three hours ago, depending on the rarity. If it was a Karui reward, I might even do up to an hour ago. There's going to be people who've just put in their stash and they want to sell it. These might be maybe new players or people are starting the league late and trying to catch up. These people are much, much, much more likely to respond. In the same vein of getting people to respond, I know it's a pain, but let's say you want to buy chaos orbs for your divine orbs and you need 1000 chaos orbs down at the bottom. Usually these people right at the top, do not waste your time messaging these folks. It's not necessarily that they are mean or price fixing or trying to ignore you. Usually the case is that because they're at the top, these people are getting dozens and dozens of DMs every minute. It is absolute madness. I'm sure some of you have sold things in bulk and had that happen. It is panic inducing. What is better to do is instead scroll further down 
and message, let's say, someone from the middle. This might get you fewer Chaos Orbs. However, you aren't going to spend 20 minutes trying to buy it. Sometimes you will. It's a pain. Hopefully this gets changed, but at least it is something that can help. However, another thing you can do if you want to get Chaos for your Divines, or let's say in this case, Chaos for my Exalted Orb, instead of going to the trade site and trying to buy Chaos for my Exalts, what I can do is put my Exalts in a trade tab, check the price on the trade site, and then list this for Chaos Orbs. And let's say the price is like 15 for an Exalt. If I put it up at 15, it should sell fairly quickly. If you want to sell it really quickly, just undercut everyone, put it up for a little bit less, like one chaos less, your listing will shoot straight to the top and it will be sold very quickly. Now, another very naughty trick. I haven't seen anyone talk about this, but I do this all the time. Let's say the going rate of Exalted Orbs is 15 chaos. Now, I want my listing to show up right at the top, but I still want 15 Chaos Orbs, I don't want 14. What I usually do is this, I will list it for 14.999 Chaos Orbs. It's very cheesy, this does seem to push your thing to the top. It will still show up on the trade site as 15 Chaos Orbs. However, my item will be fractionally, fractionally more cheap than the other listings, which means that it should show up. I often do this. Might be a bit naughty. Maybe everyone's gonna do it after this and soon we're gonna be listing things for 14.99999. But I like that little trick. I do it to sell things at the going rate quickly. Now, if you wanna list items for bulk instead of doing them one by one by one, what you can do is go over here to trade and then exact price. Let's say I want 57 Chaos Orbs for my 20 Scarabs. I can go 57 for 20. This will show it up on trade in this format. So people will see, I want to only sell these in bulk for this amount. You can also make it a nice round number, like 60 for 20, that'll show it as three, but it should still show up on the trade site as me listing these for 20 for 60 Chaos Orbs. Just remember it's first number is going to be what you want. And then second number is going to be what you have. Yours for mine, YFM, you can remember it like that. You can also list things directly from your tabs. Let's say you wanna make your currency tab public and then you wanna list your Val Orbs. You want, let's say 20 Chaos Orbs for 20 Val Orbs. You can list it like that. And then another useful little trick that you can sometimes do, let's say I have 500 grand Eldritch Icors. Instead of me listing those for Divines or Chaos, what I can do is search for people buying these for, let's say, Divine Orbs. So we can say someone who has 10 Divines, we can search these people are buying 17 for one Divine Orb. So you can actually sell your Grand Eldritch Icos directly in this way. Just make sure to first check it the other way around to make sure that you're not getting ripped off because these are few and far between that you will have these. So you can actually see you would be getting undercut a little bit. These are going for 15 for a divine. So you would be missing out. Do just check that just in case you're getting scammed. You can do this with, let's say cards. Let's say you find the doctor early in a league. You want to sell it quickly without getting scammed. What you can do, click that over here, the doctor, and then say, I want divine orbs for my doctor. Click search. Oh, well, okay, those are not worth divines this league. <laughs> we can search for Chaos Orbs and these people are buying it. Again, just always check it the other way around to make sure you're not getting ripped off, but a very good way to sometimes offload a lot of less commonly purchased items more quickly. I have a full video on the trade site and some tricks that you can use. Might be a bit out of date, so if you wanna see an updated version of that video, let me know. We can go through a whole lot of other tricks that you can use on the trade site. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Don't forget, next video is gonna be crafting tips and tricks. By the way, all of the tips and tricks that are being left in the comments, a lot of them are really great. Instead of adding those to another long form video, instead what I'm gonna be doing is turning those ones into shorts. 
I've been doing more shorts lately. Keep a lookout for those for a few extra secret tips. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, crafting tips and tricks that you might not know. Also, maybe leave some in the comments in case I can add them in before I put that one out. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.